All righty, guys, the doors are open. We're going to have some participants coming on in. Thank you for joining me. This is Kale, I'm the community manager at Good Ghosting, I'm joined by Fernando today with CyberTime Finance, Cyberbox.art, the Dalpolis NFT project, lots of different things. One of the pool sponsors for the recently concluded CELO mobile savings pool. Congratulations to everybody that did complete that. I know we've got some late night people. I know some of you guys were talking, it's gonna be midnight, 2 a.m. for you where you are. So we do appreciate everybody joining us at the uh, diverse hours of Web3. Fernando, how are you doing today? You having a good day? Yeah, yeah, it's really a, a really busy day today. You know, it's the art day. So there are a lot of, of things that is happening right now around Celo. So I have been in like a, a couple of chats, you know, a couple of Twitter spaces. And we are now just joining a hackathon of the art day, the of the Re, uh, refi DAO initiative. So mm. we are we are doing a lot of stuff today. Well, you know, and, and for it's something that's very unique to CELO, right? We're seeing a massive amount of activity and effort towards this climate circumstance in general. It's a nice Earth Day. I think this is their two-year launch on mm -hmm. Earth Day two years ago. What's been your favorite space so far? What's the best alpha that you found today? Today, uh, I think the, the talk with uh, Climate Dow and the CELO org yes. or in Twitter space, it was really interesting. You know that uh, uh, I, I attended the CELO Connect a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, it, it really gets to me that, uh, you know, this, uh, this, all of these uh, impact, you know, uh, projects that are trying to, to make a real change, you know, in the world. Uh, and and that, that's something that I left uh, Cello Connect with a lot of ideas, you know, a lot of things that, okay, I, I think that we all the, in the NFT community, we need to, to get together and start to, to work uh, towards uh, a common goal uh, like this one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it makes perfect good sense. And we're seeing it's kind of neat on CELO because the NFT community kind of is the core community and, and some of the first wave of depths that have come out. And so a lot of its marketplaces or producers, uh, the DeFi guys are kind of the, the far and few in between. But it seems pretty cohesive across the space that everybody enjoys working with everybody. It's still small enough that everyone's on the same exactly. team right now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We are a little bit small, but uh, we know each other and we, we have the chance to meet each other on Celo Connect. So we are, we are trying to, to grow all together, you know, for, for Celo. That's been fantastic. So you guys, Cyber Time Finance is like the umbrella. That's the top tier of the hierarchy, correct? And you guys have a lot of vision for what's happening down the road. But the first thing I think that you have right now is cyberbox.art. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. CyberTime is our company. You know, we, we started the project being CyberTime, you know, uh, in Binance Smart Chain at first. But same, then we, we came to Celo through CeloCam last year. You know, it was a, a really good experience to, to know the kind of people that uh, it's uh, <clears throat> active in the Celo community. So we, we started with our NFT collection, the Opolis. And then we, we deployed our marketplace that was always our, our dream to make, you know, to be in, in an NFT community, have our, our own marketplace. And we did it with Cyberbox. We are really happy of what we have done. And we are really happy with what everything that we want to do there. So we, we, we are really, really, really happy to be part of Celo. That's fantastic. And I'm going to pull this up here on the screen share as well to just make sure that people can see that. So this is the Dow Bliss NFT project right here. And these are still minting out, correct? We're at 91, 92 is the overall collection. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The idea, you know, we, we didn't aim to be like a, an instant sold out. The idea is that we are going to to develop some things for, for our NFT collection, but it's, it's more ahead, you know. So right now we are focusing on Cyberbox first, and then we are going to focus on the NFT collection. The idea is to to develop some kind of games, you know, this, this idea of metaverse of different games, but uh, not only from us. The idea is to collaborate with different NFT projects and make something all together yeah perfect and so same thing there the twitter for the cyber box marketplace that you guys have coming out there's something really unique that you guys have going on that we won't go into full details today but kind of the big trick that i've been watching for you guys is this nft loan concept correct this is kind of unique 
Exactly. This is one of the things that we, we were working mostly on investigation, you know, the last couple of months, because, uh, you know, the, the loan system is, of course, something really difficult to make. We, we have talked with different projects in different blockchains. We have talked with the Mula Finance here in Celo. We have talked with the G Finance that is uh, working on, on their testnet about uh, this protocol of lending. We have also seen a lot of projects, you know, on, especially in the that uh, some of them have this uh, possibility of, you know, the, the main issue that we, we found is that if you have a, an NFT right now, uh, you don't have like a liquidity asset right there, you know, so sometimes you need that liquidity and we are working on a solution for this. For, for example, you know, uh, if you need the money, if you need the liquidity right now, the only thing that you can do is to go to, to, to the marketplace and try to sell it on the floor price, you know, but uh, the idea is to, to create a smart contract that, you know, can create this valuation of the NFT and, you know, to, to have liquidity pools that are, we are going to be, um, you know, contributed by users, by, by, by us ourselves, you know, to create liquidity and to have a possibility of uh, uh, take a loan you know uh, with this nft as a collateral there's this very specific use case route that i'm waiting to employ with you guys which will be me staking my nft borrowing collateral against it and then playing in a good ghosting DeFi game for the length yeah. of the game and then being able exactly. to just replace everything and have no true uh, take against anything Exactly. That, that is one of the main ideas, you know, for, for this kind of uh, activities in good costing, it will be like the best thing that you, you could do. Yeah, absolutely. So let's um, also take a moment to shout out because it is unfortunately for them, it's 2 a.m. in the morning for the Space Fight team. But oh, that was okay. the other the other uh, team sponsor that we had as well for the CELO mobile pool. These guys are super early and, I, and you know, I'm guilty of not knowing enough about them because they are still just in their test net phase at this time. But they are playing around on CELO and on Cosmos. They're using the EVMOS test net at this point. Very few projects are arising right now out of EVMOS. And so it's very intriguing on what they're working at there. But for them, it's very much that entire suite as well, a DEX, an NFT, a starter, a DAO. This is what the explosion that I'm watching happen on CELO right now, and I'm all here for it. I was just talking to someone the other day about Polygon is we're almost moving a little bit slower on NFT marketplace competition and development over there. And so CELO right now, I think is probably setting the, the bar across any blockchain right now for like NFT, community arising everything's happening here right now yeah okay and so um if you are indeed the lucky one that wins this space fi nft we have one of these that will be giving away to one of the savers that completed the pool with the valora wallet if you use the valora wallet you're eligible and then same thing we have five of the doubtless nfts from CyberTime. that'll be also for valora winners and then we'll have five of the doubtless available for all pool completers so we'll go through that here in just a moment. The only thing with Space Fight is you are going to have to go jump in their Discord and let them know that you won the prize here, and they'll be able to help you receive that directly. Fernando and CyberTime team will take care of the Dalpolis side for us as well. Let me just get this because I got to strip down my resources as best I can for this poor raffle because this thing is mm -hmm. heavy. Okay, so here we, we have, are. Uh, we have more than 1.6K of people completing the pool, right? It was 1,628 people that finished the this particular savings pool. Of that number, 575 people finished the pool using the Valora mobile wallet app. Okay. Yeah, Amazing. which is fantastic. Exactly. And we had individuals submit a form that let us know that they had completed with the Valora. And then those people were eligible for an additional CELO incentive as well upon the completion. And we're watching even today with Earth Day, Valora, there's a special POAP opportunity. If, if you're watching on the yeah. Twitter stream there, there's something coming on with Moss and Alities. And so we're starting to have more dApps on the Valora Explore section every week. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately it went out uh, really fast. <laughs> Those <laughs> POAP, yeah. I think it was a few minutes and they went out. So oh, I goodness. missed the opportunity. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I feel lucky then because I was using my Pixel Android and it wasn't working. My mom's here with her iPhone and it did work. And so I got oh. lucky, I guess, <laughs> there. So I will cherish that little piece there. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just dive right into this. Um, Fernando, feel free in the meantime, I kind of like to have people still just telling about the team or the project or when you guys got started or the future roadmap, just whatever the pitch is that's on your mind. So that way everyone's not just sitting here staring at this wheel spinning and I'll just grab these winner addresses <laughs> and move them over into the sheet as we're going. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I will take the opportunity to, to share a little bit of what we are working right now. Uh, we are ending uh, a new revamp of our, uh, our UI, you know, in the site, uh, because we are joining today, you know, this uh, new refi initiative from our marketplace. Uh, the idea is, uh, like I said, uh, after going to Celeconnect and see, you know, all the importance that uh, have this kind of impact, uh, you know, uh, uh, you have impact project, like, for example, uh, impact market, you know, you, you have now a, a new marketplace uh, that is plastics, for example, uh, that, you know, uh, they try to contribute to the plastic, you know, re regeneration and um and so we, we have a lot of things coming for Celo. So our main idea now, right now is to start a new refi integration in our marketplace. The idea is that uh, some of the fees that normally we take, you know, uh, you have in any marketplace, uh, you have a standard fee like 2.5% uh, for the marketplace. Uh, our idea is to, to graph some of th those fees and some of the fees of the different NFT collections. We are talking with uh, them to, to let them know what we're doing and those fees are going to be used to buy uh, CMCO2 tokens, uh, the tokens of Moss Earth. You know, for people that don't know about them, they are uh, uh, one of the biggest companies that are working in, in different uh, blockchains about, uh, you know, refi. Refi is uh, regenerative finance. You know, it is hard so to say is, for me. And this is the Moss name that I've been seeing floating around because I'm ignorant to this as well. So that's who yeah, this exactly. is. They're the carbon producers. Yeah, they are carbon producers. You know, they, you, they have the CMCO2 token. Uh, you, you can get it on Uberswap. And the idea is to use those fees from the transactions of the marketplace and use them to, to get these tokens. You know, uh, one of these tokens represents a... Uh, uh, represents uh, uh, an offsetting of uh, one ton of uh, CO2 footprint, you know, so the idea is to all together try to contribute, you know, to to these projects that are helping uh, regenerate, uh, regenerating, you know, the, the nature. Uh, I think that uh, most started is especially with uh, different projects that help the Amazon rainforest, you know, they, they became big there and now they are uh, you know, are uh, trying to help different uh, things around the world. So we are we're going to be part of it. We are, we're trying to to launch today our new UI to to people see what we are trying to do, and you know we are we are very excited for it because you know we 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 didn't have any kind of alignment with that uh, before. But uh, you know we we are trying to be part of you know this mission of Celo to 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 have more you know more impact in in what we do you know the idea of, of the nfts not only being being part of a community but also creating some some impact with them it, it almost feels like cello as a foundation is doing a really great job of kind of leading the way quite honestly and they set the tone for for what can be a really good flag to rally behind and then you see all the dApps on cello all fall in suit together when impact market started becoming once and then twice and then now everyone's touching it right and so it's mm -hmm. going to be really interesting to watch refi like demonstrate demonstrate uh, mass adoption of the dApps that currently exist on CELO and see how much impact can be made in such a short amount of time Exactly. You know that uh, one of the phrases that I've been uh, hearing that uh, really hits me is like, uh, you know, we, we, we started to think, uh, you know, how our action affects, you know, our environment and how it affects our future. You know, and with, with the, the blockchain, you know, you, you have these, uh, these blockchains that, you know, they, they, they need this uh, energy you know, to, to work. So we are part of Celo, you know, Celo is an, uh, a carbon negative uh, blockchain. So we are, we're trying to, to align uh, of that vision of Celo and, you know, to be part of, of this movement. It makes good sense to me. I think it's gonna, you know, when, when Climadao landed in Polygon, that was very, 
impressive, intriguing, interesting, different, and new, and everyone wasn't sure quite what it all meant. And and, and I, I mean, I love Polygon. It's my first home, certainly, but it almost feels like it was ahead of its time in a lot of ways. And it feels like CeeLo is currently on like right on timing for applying blockchain technology in a growth market to useful <laughs> problems. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I think that the, the the one of the important things of Celo is that we are building. You know, we are building right from the beginning. We are building a really strong foundation for the future, not only for 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 ourselves, for our project, but for everyone that wants to come to Celo later. You know, you, they they will find like a great foundation of things, of apps, you know, of wallets, of a lot of things that I think that is are are going to be very important for for the future of Celo. We, we still need, you know, uh, to, to keep uh, growing our user base, keep growing our communities. You know, there are some, some really good um, projects that are doing this, like for example, with Ghosting, uh, doing this with uh, Polygon, it also makes our reach, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit bigger, yeah. The same thing with Numspace, they, they have done a really good job about it. So, you know, we are, we are trying to work on that. You know, we, we need to work on that with different projects. We need to work on that all together, you know, and eventually we are going to, to, to do what we want to do. That is, uh, you know, DeFi for all and prosperity for all. Absolutely. There was a CELO AMA just today with Allbridge and the NIR protocol network. And that's just oh, exciting yeah. times. It's just the reach is expanding. And like you're saying, a CELO setting its intention correctly and setting its purpose correctly and from here building out it looks like it's going to have some some impact looks like it's really going to make some weight exactly there's our 11 winners guys that went nice and easy that's why i always like having a project guest here because you can sit there and deliver some good alpha while people are winning prizes and so these are lucky we were we were soft on people this time you did not have to be present to win and so no one had to be here to win these prizes you just need to be one of those pool completers and so that's five of those doubtless nfts which um are these going to be newly minted you think and so we're not sure what they'll be or is this going to come from a pre-existing stash yeah, this is one uh, one of the NFTs that we already have. You know, we 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 have like a random script, you know, to to yep. send random of what what we have in our wallets, but uh, they were previously previously minted. We, we have a uh, from number, I think 200, 300 to five hundred that were nice. previously minted. So if you get one of those, you know that uh, they are previously minted. Yeah. Perfect. There's some really good units still hiding there. I often, and it's kind of, you know, the truth be told, I sleuth between the CELO NFT marketplaces right now because there's weird floor gaps in every single operation right now. There's not a consistent CELO floor yet. And so you can really yeah. ar arbitrate between the marketplaces. Y'all exactly, yeah. have y'all have some of the best features in terms of rarity sorting. It's, it's one of my favorite places to go in terms of effective rarity sorting for sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we, we made a good job with that, but... Uh... I see with every development, you know, you, you find some bugs, you find some things that you need to fix, but uh, we work every day, you know, to try to, to get the best experience for, for our users. And, you know, every kind of feedback is always welcome. We, we're trying to build the best thing for for Celo, for Celo NFT, for Celo NFT projects. So we, we, really, we really love our community and we, as I said before, we need that feedback. So please use the marketplace and come to us. Uh, you know, said what what you like, what you didn't like. You know, we are working on a, a lot of things. One one thing that we are trying to do, hopefully, you know, in the next weeks, was to create this uh, profile sharing. You know, is something that uh, other marketplaces have, and it's a really good thing, to, you know, to have. So once we do it, I, I know that uh, it's going to 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 You'll see me to all over it. Us. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, right on. Well, you guys are still doing good stuff. Is it still open for the for the submission to be uh, considered for the NFT loan program once that starts? I know that that was kind of where we're at right now with that. Is you're looking for for people that want to be involved? Exactly. With that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 still getting you know investigations and feedback from from users. You know to to create a really good protocol. At first, it's going to be a little bit more simple. You know because as I said before, uh, a loan uh, contract is always a uh, really complex so we are trying to work on the best you know thing for for 
for our users, you know, to, to be safe and, you know, to be to be really good. And the idea is to keep getting feedback. You know, we, we have a lot, we have a tab on our marketplace where you can be there. It's a simple form where you leave us feedback and that help us, you know, on our, our investigation. We have like a couple of months of investigation. And right now we are, we are working on those smart contracts. And as I said before, I am now there. So for me, whenever I see all of that, you know, it's like, okay, this is, this is crazy. This is a lot of yes. letters <laughs> and numbers and things. You know, I understand the, the basics, you know, of uh, smart contracts, but I am no expert, not at all. And our devs are really, really, really good. You know, they work really well. Uh, I am part of their Slack, uh, you know, um, uh, conversations. And I, mm -hmm. I am always like, see what they discuss, you know, and I, I'm learning every day. But, uh, you know, it's a constant work. Development is like that, you know. Sometimes Absolutely. it takes you a little bit. Sometimes it takes you a lot of time. But we're trying to to make the the best for our users. I think you and I are probably in the same role here in our respective teams. Is I'm usually not the smartest guy in the room for once, and it's really <laughs> exactly. enjoyable. These guys are really just impressive. What the talent that goes into these products and the complications and security risks and 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 the the you have to be perfect. You can't be close. It has to be perfect. There's only one acceptable solution. Uh, exactly. One thing I will discuss with you, because I'm very curious and interested about this on an individual level, is so if I remember the last time, I think it was with CELO Nigeria, you were doing a speech with them, and mm -hmm. you were going through the NFT loan mechanics and how it's going to essentially structure and, and, and logic flow. And so there was a discussion in terms of if the loan is taken, right, and then the value changes, then that goes to auction, correct? This is where I'm very much getting interested because I'm going to be at these auctions. You have you have a committed watcher at this time. Yeah, the, the idea is that, you know, at first you're going to have like, a, for example, a, a, let's talk about a stable pool, you know, from where someone could put a collateral. Uh, let's talk about a Celo Punks, for example, that one of the best NFTs that are out there from Celo. You have Celo Punks, you have a Celo Punk, you put it as a collateral, so you have a liquidity pool. You know that anyone can contribute to that liquidity pool uh, that will earn some some smaller you know um, uh, percentage some interest that you could get there from being there so you take that money from out there and then we have a smart contract that is going to to keep you know re making the re-evaluation of the nft so you you will have like a health factor like you 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 probably know something like that from Aave or different lending protocols. Mm -hmm. So when that factor went down, you know, and you lose, you know, the NFT, you will have like a, a small window where you could still pay your loan, you know, and get your NFT back. But in case that you don't have that liquidity, you know, you, you can pay the loan back. That, um, that NFT is going to be part of an auction for people that are contributing in that liquidity pool. So you will have a chance, you know, to get that uh, that NFT, uh, depending on the people interested in it, you will get from um, maybe lower than the price that uh, was mm -hmm. asked, you know, so you, th that will be an opportunity for people, you know, to get that NFT at a lower price, maybe as an investment, you know, just, just to you know, keep it's getting the, that. It's the that. other side of the marketplace, isn't it? You know, we love we love leverage and people love borrowing, but there has to be the individuals that underpin it. And so there have mm -hmm. to be the advantages for that. And so this is the other side of that market, right? And people that are learning how to manage collateral debt positions against NFTs is going to be an interesting example. It's going to be really cool to watch NFT meet DeFi in, in, a, in a real world use case. I'm looking forward to y'all's program with this. Yeah, that, that, that is the idea, you know, they, they bring the solution for these NFTs that aren't, aren't always, you know, uh, don't, don't have always a liquidity, you know, so the idea is to, to try to incentivize more transactions, you know, more money going around and, you know, keep in a way playing, you know, with the blockchain and mm -hmm. keep learning about it, you know, and keep doing things, you know, and at worst, you know, you lost an NFT that cost you a little bit of money, but it is maybe different that if you have an NFT and you put a collateral uh, or if you put normal tokens, you know, that that psychology, you know, plays a little bit different, but it's going to be interesting to to know how, how people worked with it because we, we have seen a lot of uh, examples of this, but uh, in Ethereum, 
Ethereum. And you know, in Ethereum, uh, you can ask for a loan, for example, if you have a borrowed ape, but uh, you know, the valuation of borrowed ape, <laughs> I think there are like at least 50K or something like that. At least. So it's a, yeah, it's a different market, you know, from Celo and from them. So it's going to be interesting to see what what uh, what this brings to Celo also, because you know, you will have an opportunity of different kind of uh, valuations that aren't like minimum fifty k. Absolutely. Not well, that's that's the beauty is the model them. should export to to any you know any volume any standards. The the model should should be exportable. And so the concept's right on the money and it's very neat because you just don't see this often yet. This is something that, that people are chattering about and it seems to be the discussion and how do we blend the NFT and the DeFi world together? Because they are almost becoming more exclusive. You know, you have a strong NFT presence in crypto and you have a strong DeFi presence and they don't always share the same space. And so it's really cool to watch this, this uh, opportunity for collaboration. I see the DeFi potential on my particular point of view. And so it'd be really neat to see how this evolves. Exactly. Okay. Well, guys, that was a great time. Um, it's, it's about seven minutes here left. And so by all means, Fernando, I don't mean to cut you off at all. So if you have more to go, by all means, share share with us. Where are you guys at in the next latest iteration? Do you know the next event maybe you're going to be speaking at? Or do you guys have any other collaborations or giveaways or anything going on that we should be watching for? Yeah, right now, as I said before, we are working on this uh, new UI revamp on our site, you know, this new refi uh, initiative. You know, after that, uh, we have a lot of things coming, you know, as I said before, this uh, new profile that you can share. So you can share your collection of NFTs. We are working on a new visualization of NFTs. We are trying to, to add, you know, the good ghosting NFTs to have it mm -hmm. on your profile, you know, but because right now we have uh, only NFTs uh, you can see in in our marketplace that you can trade mm -hmm. and we are adding we are adding different nfts that uh, in a different uh, category inside your, your profile you know to to see any kind of nft that you have in your wallet that maybe you is untradeable or uh, untransferable and you have it there so you you have an opportunity to to see them all because uh, we we have seen a lot of nft from uh, good cousin that are really cool <laughs> so we we really want to to have them there you know so you can see them and we're working on a notification system that is really important because right Right now, for example, if you make a sale, you you realize if you see your your seller balance going up, you know you you check it on Explorers or that is something that we are adding. We are in a new notification systems, uh, a, a new history of transactions, you know, to show you what what NFT have you bought, what NFT have you sold, you know, all of that. That is information for the user that you need it in a marketplace, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, you 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 can keep tracking. Uh, you know, in a more easy way that you, know, you can do all of these things, you know, on the blockchain, but not everyone knows how to read Explorer. I am, uh, I have a lot of time, you know, uh, that uh, to to really like uh, get accustomed, you know, to to use the Explorer because it, it is not an easy way. You know, right now we also have uh, the the new Explorer for Celo. The one mm. uh, that is that is similar to to the Ethereum one. I don't remember which one is right now. I think uh, it was Celo dot X Y Z. I think I cool. need to, to check it. I had to check uh, into that too. Yeah, that, that was presented at Celo Connect with the new yeah. Plumo initiative, and. Um, you know, we are working also on on having new collections of NFTs, like for example, NoxDAO, that they are doing like a really good job in the in the in their DAO. Their learn learn to earn program is really really cool. You you can see it on on Twitter. You know, they have a hashtag and they they have a really good community. So we are trying to 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 make some things with them to to have them on, on a marketplace. And we are we are working uh, something that we need to do all together. Like I said before, uh, one of the things that uh, we we take from from Celo Connect was this idea of like we are small, we we get to know each other, so we need to collaborate to to keep growing. So we are we are going to work with all of the rest of the NFT collections all together to try to you know create this 
kind of marketing plan for for all of us you know to to be on the same page you know to to participate in different you know twitter spaces or different discord chats or everything but trying to do all together you know because all of our efforts you know were were being done like uh, each one for their part you know each one doing their effort and the idea is to do something all together because that is the main idea to to keep growing and the idea you know is to make something all together and present it to Celo and maybe working with Celo because we understand that, you know, if we you build a really strong NFT community, you know, you build a really good community to be part of Celo, not only of the NFT community, but, you know, to be part of Celo. And nowadays, uh, you know, the NFT community, uh, you know, they, they, they used to get a lot of power, you know, so if you have a really strong NFT community, you can make Celo build, you know, and keep growing. So our idea, you know, is to 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 do something all together. It's going to be hard because you know, if, uh, with more people trying to participate and doing things, is is always hard. And it's always hard when we, you talk about marketing and crypto, you, because you know, what, what what do you see of marketing and crypto? You always see like influencers, you know, or paid promotions, and that is something really difficult for us because we don't have that kind of budget. You know, especially mm -hmm. for Twitter influencers are really expensive and are you know full of bots and not always are a good thing so mm -hmm. we, we we are going to to be working you know of, of trying to work with content creators that are working organically are working really well but the idea is to support them all together you know just to grow with them and they help grow with us for example we don't have any kind of influencer you know in in social networks in youtube in sure. reddit so we we need someone you know to work with all of us and we work together with them so we 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 create this uh, you know synergy and we we grow all together so that is something that you know came to to our minds after Celeconnect. you know that it was a really good experience and the idea is to like i said before i said a lot of time work together absolutely yeah i think that's perfectly well said i mean that's a, that there's nothing i need to add to that that's exactly the state of solo as we see it spoken for the man himself recent solo connect experience well plugged into the scene you know what's going on how the waters are moving so uh, once again just appreciate your particular sponsorship for this solo mobile savers pool shout out to spacefy again another pool sponsor on that we appreciate that. that's what makes this all so much fun and being able to share new protocols with all of our user base and let people continue to end boring savings while keeping on the cutting edge of what's happening. Uh, the good ghosting folks know what's going on. If you're playing all of our pools, then you're seeing things as they're happening in real time. That's Fernando with Cyber Time Finance. Check out cyberbox.art as well. That NFT marketplace sounds like it's about to get a huge upgrade to the user experience in a lot of different ways. And it's already been real good. And so I appreciate everybody coming out here today. We will be sharing this up on the YouTube later for individuals that weren't able to come and spend time with us. Fernando, I'll leave you with this too, is I am working on a new Twitter space series for Good Ghosting. I'm working with uh, Alejandra at Fly Wallet, And then we have oh. a couple of guests lined up as well. And so we're creating like a primer series of starting at the very bare bones. What is crypto? Why does it matter to me? And about once right. every two weeks, we'll be putting out episodes on kind of just main topic focus. And there's definitely an NFT episode in the future. And I'd love to have you guys join us for that. Yeah, sure. Interesting. That is really good. Yeah, yeah I will so. be I will be part of them. Of course, okay. I, I really love the, the different 3D spaces. That's it's about you know, to happen. We, well, you just nailed okay, it there. A lot of things. Yeah. The content creation is about to be the next wave on Sila right now. We've got the we've got the art production right now. The factories are working, and so now we need that that decentralized marketing core that helps just just promote what the good work that's happening here from teams like you guys. So, exactly. thanks everyone again for hanging out today. Just remember to keep checking out those uh, those uh good ghosting savings pools. We have two more on Polygon that just launched this week, which is crowded. We're getting crazy over here, so just. Just pay attention, use the dashboard, keep up with your dedicated DeFi, and you'll keep learning about the best things from people like Fernando here at Cyber Time Finance. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good day. We'll get these prizes out to you ASAP. I'll hand these addresses out, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone.